How to add an image or a pattern to a shape in Affinity Photo. I'm just going to remove this. Just get, go back there. And first thing to do, go over to the tools and I'm going to add a shape. Now I've got a load of different shapes here. They're all vector designs. And I'm just going to go for maybe a square star. So I'm just going to quickly add that. Now I can modify number of sides, etc. But I can also add an image or pattern. So if I go up to here, you think, oh, well, where is it? Can't do it that way. What you need to do is go down to here to the gradient tool. So you've got the gradient tool, select that, and then just apply a gradient. You can see you've got here an option for fill. So I'm using fill and I'm linear, solid, elliptical, radial, conical, and bitmap. That's the key one. So bitmap, select that. As soon as you do that, just go and select an image. I'm just going to go with this one, Amphitheater, or maybe Bridge, they are Bridge. And I'm going to open that. So as soon as I open, you can see now you've got your image in there. And what you can do, you can rotate it around. And now, of course, you can see you can create all kinds of different designs simply by using that image. You can also use different options here. You've got Wrap see the result and see the design there all the way and you've got the repeat of the other side and then it continues on so you just reduce that down and you can see it repeating again and again and again at this point you can see actually it's slightly uneven there because i've changed it earlier so you can release maintain fill aspect and you can just change that so you can make that approximately there and then you can always Click back there. Now, if you don't want to do that and you just want to maybe squeeze it, so you can just go like that, so you can create a design exactly like that, or go that way. But you generally, it's probably nice just to keep it like that. So just go there, maintain fill aspect ratio. Also, you can do repeat, which is not so great. Zero, not so great either. Or wrap. Personally, I always think that the mirror option but you can always just make the design so you don't have the pattern anyway so and you can change your origin point move that around now if you decide to change the image what you can do just go up to here to the type and bitmap again just like that and it will come up with this thing again so you can say maybe i'll go with the amphitheater so this time on the images i created and you can again move that and resize it and change your origin point like that what you can also do, of course, because it's just a shape, and you can go up to here and go to layer and new adjustment layer, maybe add maybe black and white. So you can just go black and white, so you can change it very quickly to black and white image. And you can, of course, manipulate the image that way. And this, just going to close that now. If you go to layers, so here's the layers, you can actually see and that's by the view and studio and layers. You can see the adjustment there, as well as the original image there. And again, you can still go back at any time to that image and then just go to the bitmap option up there. You can see it's still there, bitmap, to select it again. And I'll just move that out of the way and go maybe to, say, that one, all saints. Click OK there. And again, you can move that around. So it's a quick and easy way to add a shape image to a shape. So I'm just going to remove that now. Just to show you, you can just quickly do it with any shape. So I'm just going to go to another shape and maybe just rectangle. And you can see the design there. Obviously it was, now you've got the adjustment below. In that case, what you can do, simply just drag down there and you've got the black and white. Like, or you can just drag it into there. So it's actually associated only with that layer. So what you can do then, of course, I'm just going to resize that design there, move that across there, and hold down the Ultra Option key. And you can see what happens. You end up with two, two layers, but both have got adjustments. Now what you can do, go there and double click on that, and that'll bring up the panel, and you can modify the settings for that one alone. So you can see if I just I make it more extreme, so I can really see it. And there's the design there. And that's just affecting that one, not affecting that one. 
And of course, what you can do if you want, you always go back to there, back to the gradient tool, and you can still continue to move it around. Maybe go with mirror option there. And again, if you want, you can always go bitmap top and go to another one there. And so on and so on. So you can keep changing that. And then you've got your image and pattern in that shape. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Finty Photo, Finty Designer, Illustrator, Painter, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciate it. Just let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.